Taurus. This will happen in the next 48 hours for June the 21st through June the 22nd, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus for June the 21st through June the 22nd, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus for June the 21st through June the 22nd, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus for June the 21st through June the 22nd, 2023. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Taurus. Taurus, these are your cards, honey. So, Taurus, you have the Ten of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is financial success and abundance. This is where two people come together in a long-standing committed relationship, joining together their assets and resources to build something to pass down from generation to generation, creating a legacy. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, assets, resources, property, inheritance, legacy. So Taurus, listen, this can be about your money, assets, resources, abundance. Very well could be that someone has commitment on the brain. But in tarot, tens are ending, so it could be an ending to you guys' this commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. Clarify the ten of pentacles for Taurus. Clarify the ten of pentacles for Taurus. Clarify the ten of pentacles for Taurus. It is clarified with the three of wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you waiting, waiting for your ships to come in, waiting for what you set your intentions towards to manifest. Now, this is also a card of you looking to see what else is out there, looking to expand. So, Taurus, listen, you can tell me that you're waiting. You can tell me that your ships are here. You can tell me that you're looking to see what else is out there, looking to expand or even travel. Now, Taurus, listen, Taurus. Listen, is it party over here? Your ships are here with all these coins, Taurus. My ships are here with these coins. Very abundant. Taurus, you can tell me that you're waiting on these coins here. Waiting on some type of stability. Taurus, you can tell me that you're waiting to see whether or not you want to go into commitment or not. Or this commitment is ending and now you're looking to see what else is out there. Taurus, you have the Ten of Cups. Goodness. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is emotional fulfillment. This is the apex card. This is the happy family, happy life, happy wife, happy, stable, committed relationship, and happy home. This is what we're all striving for. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, emotional fulfillment. So Taurus, listen, like I said, someone very well may have commitment on the brain here. But in tarot, tens are ending, so it could be an ending to you guys' as commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. Clarify the Ten of Cups for Taurus. Clarify the Ten of Cups for Taurus. Clarify the Ten of Cups for Taurus. It is clarified with the Knight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone. Demanding truth. Demanding clarity. Speaking your truth. Spewing facts with direct, harsh communication. Now, here's where truth comes out. It's swift, it's bitter, it's harsh, it's direct, it's almost confrontational. It's where you can't get a word in edgewise, but it's truth. So, Taurus, some type of confrontation happening here. Question and answer session. Someone setting the record straight, someone getting to the bottom of something. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Taurus. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Taurus. Clarify the Knight of Swords. For Taurus, it is clarified with the Four of Pentacles, 
Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you holding back, holding off, keeping something close to your chest. Now, this is also a card of a miser, a penny pincher, someone who's holding back their coins, saving their money, being stingy, someone who's closed off, blocked off, not opening up. So, Taurus, listen, you can tell me that you're closed off, blocked off, not opening up. You can tell me that you're holding on to your coins, saving your money, being stingy, or you're keeping something close to your chest here. Now, Taurus, listen, you could be being confronted because you're wanting to wait. You could be holding back from going into some type of commitment. Taurus, you can tell me that there is a confrontation taking place because someone is being stingy with the coins. Someone's ships is here. Your ships are here. Your ships are here and you're being stingy and it's causing a confrontation. Well, it's cause an ending in you guys' commitment here. Or Taurus, you're just telling me that it's ending, okay? And you're kind of closed off, ready to look and see what else is out there. Taurus, you have the Eight of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is mastering your craft, perfecting your skills, trades, and abilities. This is you throwing yourself into your work. But this can also speak to you being willing to work on it or put in the work. So Taurus, listen, you can tell me that this is all work or business. You can tell me that you're willing to work on it, willing to put in the work. You can tell me that you're working on something, planning something, perfecting something here. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles for Taurus. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles. For Taurus, clarify the eight of pentacles for Taurus. Taurus, you're at the bottom of the deck. It is clarified with the queen of cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This queen is a very loving, kind, compassionate queen. This is a nurturing queen. This is the mothering energy. She's very intuitive and psychic, and she searches her emotions. So Taurus, could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Cups, using your intuition concerning something or searching your emotions concerning something. Also with the Queen of Cups, this is a mothering, nurturing energy. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child here, Taurus. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Taurus. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Taurus. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Taurus. It is clarified with the Four of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. There's an offer on the table that you're not accepting or rejecting. You're contemplating this offer, but actually you're bored with the offer, thinking of missing the offer. But this is also a card of you contemplating sending an offer, but you fear that the offer would be rejected. So Taurus, listen, very well could be an offer coming into you that you're thinking about missing. However, you could be contemplating sending an offer. You just have this fear it won't be accepted. Now, Taurus, listen, you can tell me that you're using your intuition and searching your emotions here concerning working things out with this person because you guys had some type of confrontation. Even though you're holding back from going into a commitment, you want to wait. So you want to see whether or not, you know, we can work things out, but I still don't want the offer to go into commitment. Or Taurus, you're saying, you know what? I really want to work things out here. We had this confrontation. You know, let me go in with this offer, but I have this fear it won't be accepted. Or Taurus, you're just like ending things with a commitment and you're wanting to work things out with someone else, Taurus. You just have this fear it won't be accepted. And it could be a water sign. Taurus, you have the Ace of Wands. Aries, Leo or Sag. This is a brand new, passionate, creative endeavor. Now, this can be the spark of a new idea. This can be some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this wand is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So brand new, passionate beginnings. So Taurus, listen, you can have the spark of a new idea. Could be initiating something here. This can be passionate communication, romantic passion, or a heated discussion or argument, or starting a passionate new beginning. Clarify the Ace of Wands for Taurus. Clarify the Ace of Wands for Taurus. Clarify the Ace of Wands for Taurus. It is clarified with the Page of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is news or a message about a deep emotional connection. These are love messages or news of love. But this could also be the news about what love produce because there is a fish in this cup. So love messages and an apology. 
Now, you could be receiving love messages and an apology. You could be sending out love messages and an apology. Very well could be that we found love messages and heard the news of someone sharing love or some news about what love produced because pages are children and there is a fish in this cup. Clarify the page of cups for Taurus. Clarify the page of cups. When I tell you I don't like new cards, clarify the page of cups for Taurus. It takes too much to break them in. Clarify the page of cups for Taurus. Clarify the page of cups for Taurus. It is clarified with the two of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you being at a crossroads, needing to pick a path between two. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? So Taurus, you're at a crossroads needing to decide, needing to pick a path here. You know, it's the same difference. It's the same difference. Taurus, you can tell me, you know what? Should I, shouldn't I initiate and come in and apologize to this person and work things out? But I have this fear they won't accept it because I really just want to hold back or wait when it comes to commitment. Taurus, you can tell me that, you know, maybe they're wanting to come in to apologize, but you need to make a decision and need to pick a path here. Taurus, listen, I want to know if you're on to something new here. Like, this is a wrap with some type of commitment. You're looking to see what else is out there. Your clothes off to them, it's over, it's done. And you're looking to maybe work things out with someone else. So are you thinking about coming in with some type of uh, romantic messages towards someone else, Taurus? You're trying to decide because you have this fear it won't be accepted. You have the three of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is heartbreak. This is pain. This is suffering. This is agony caused by a third party situation. So when I say third party, yes, a romantic third party. But this could also be meddling family members, friends, co-workers, neighbors, anyone being involved in you guys' relationship that shouldn't be that is causing you heartbreak. So Taurus, you're telling me that you're hurt. Now you could be hurt because your feelings are hurt. Or you're hurt because there's a third party. Clarify the three of swords for Taurus. Clarify the three of swords for Taurus. Clarify the three of swords for Taurus. It is clarified with the page of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is immature, premature communication. But this is also you spying, researching, investigating, looking into someone, looking into someone's social media, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, riding past someone's home, riding past someone's job, asking a friend of a friend of a friend. This is you doing your due diligence to gather information and research, looking into something. So Taurus, listen, you can tell me that you guys had this immature, premature communication, or you went looking and spying. Clarify the page of swords for Taurus. Clarify the page of swords for Taurus. Clarify the page of swords for Taurus. It is clarified with the seven of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you waiting. And in this wait, you're pausing to reflect on you guys' relationship. You're looking at the seeds that were planted, looking at what has taken root, what has grown, and what it has produced thus far, trying to figure out whether or not you want to continue to invest, whether you want to reinvest. You're taking stock of you guys' relationship, assessing you guys' relationship. But this is also a card of you looking at your coins, your harvest, your bank account, looking at how much you have and how much you have to invest. Could be waiting on money. So Taurus, you could be waiting on money, looking at your coins, looking at your bank account. You can tell me that you're waiting. You can tell me that you're waiting, contemplating, and debating on whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship. Now Taurus, listen, you guys could have had some immature, premature communication, something that hurt your feelings concerning these coins here. Like I said in the beginning, your ships may be here, Taurus, but are you being stingy? There was a confrontation, so words may have been exchanged here. Hmm. Taurus, you can tell me that you guys had some immature, premature communication, hurt feelings, and now you're asking yourself whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship. Taurus, you could also tell me that, you know what, they had a third party. I saw this. I saw it with my own eyes. That's why I feel like it's a done deal over here. I'm asking myself whether or not I care to continue to invest, but I feel like, no, I just, I just don't. I'm ready to look to see what else is out there. 
in Taurus because I feel like you're looking towards the future because I feel like you're telling me it's a done deal and someone else is on your mind that you want to reach out to I hope that well it very well could be that you're going to look and spy on this person who you want to give this offer to and your feelings are hurt because you're seeing something you may see that they're already in a commitment and you have to wait you're having to wait you know you're having to wait because the person that you may be looking towards may be in something here and you're having to wait. Taurus, this will happen in the next 48 hours for June the 21st through June the 22nd, 2023. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at Her Immortal Maj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.